What's up guys, this is the Brothman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Ted War Let's Play as the Ottoman Empire. So the roundup where we left off, uh, we are pushing westwards towards Gdansk. Now we have significant firepower in Eastern Europe. So without further ado, let's crack on. We're going to attack this settlement here, which is drawing in the Gdansk garrison. So it's a fantastic opportunity to whittle them down. So let's do it. So now the northern plains of Europe are really, really exposed. Um, we need to make some serious progress westward and continue our conversion. Fully converted in order to make sure we haven't got any uh, wasted... Either wasted building slots, currently currently used for uh, religious purposes that don't need to be used, or priests that currently don't have a function. So I think that's the optimal spread, roughly, with some light infantry on the flank. So you've got to be aware that they are, you know, I've said this loads of times about, about the Prussians. Uh, Prussian infantry is really good. It's certainly better than ours, one for one. So we need to take it carefully. What we don't want is to rush blindly in, this army get chewed up and end up uh, having, an, having a force that's fairly combat ineffective. So my answer is going to be to bombard them before they get within range and draw them close to us. And as you can see we do have the uh, we do have the flag of the new German Republic. Uh, my other unit. You rush forward to plant stakes. Uh, I didn't do quick loan for my howitzers. Looks like. You're just dragoons. You two drop in a square. Will you drop out a square? You okay? No, you stay where you are. Sipahi, push out. Artillery. Hit that unit of fusiliers. I think everyone else is going to be okay. No, you guys hold. First light horse probably got away with that. Push cavalry forward. Fire it well off. You probably is who they're after. Drop into square late as possible to ensure that they do actually to make sure they do actually uh, merge into where we want them to merge. I had intended to use my cavalry to counter charge, but it seems like that's not really going to happen. Send my sec ban in to fight the dragoons. You guys all begin to bombard units entering the field. Yep, there goes another unit of dragoons. Let's form line okay so they got artillery coming into the field so let's get one unit to focus on bombarding them I 
These fusiliers won't be around for too long. Get one house after the Swiss line, one house after the Marines. Grenadier Guards, Horse Artillery. Bring out my Light Infantry around the flank. These lizards are going to deploy stakes. Look at those shoots of missiles hitting. These are guns hitting this, the 10th light horse. You get out of square formation, or well, you're probably going to need to come back into it. Let's pivot these infantry. It's sort of a waste of spikes, but it's a total waste of spikes. But it means we might actually be able to make use of them, make use of our infantry. There you go, they got our light infantry. Ooh, unit of grenadier guards with some men. Swiss mountain Jaeger are coming into position. Okay, let's actually make sure the gendarmerie do commit before we engage our sapahi. We do want them to... Okay, they decided to stop right before our lines. And there we go, Nizam infantry is done a sweltering really good job. Back over to our sapahi. Engage. Pull this flank back to starting to get hit by grenadiers. Kaz shot the Swiss line. You go after that Swiss pike unit. You go after that Swiss pike unit. There we go. Send our cavalry. Now they've got no more to go knock out their artillery. Ah, it's the Mountain Jaegers. They've got the funny sound. Okay, the Swiss Pikes are pushing in, but they are being engaged by a mass musket fire. There's three actual units engaging there. Come on, gun captains. Close range caster shot. Get him over here. Okay. Yeah, and surprisingly they got my gun. They got my gun team. Plus sec bands are in. Yeah, charge and hit the uh, Hessian Jaeger. We don't mind if this army takes some garrison, some gar some damage, mainly because this is the garrison we're actually... Ah, uh, you can't hit them. Keep quick climbing, danger close. Obviously one of our Israeli units is very upset. Position. Let's pivot 
these guys to make sure they're making better use of their actual weapons. Yeah, these guys that have come back, you're going to be sent straight back in. So do you have sec band janissaries? They should help, help hold them off a bit. Okay, you actually able to engage the militia? You are. So let's put you guys up within range. Same with you. Bring the bring my sipahi down to the rear of their formation. You guys chase down those demi cannon crew. Then get out of there. Otherwise, you're just going to lose lose men to the uh, militia, which you don't really need. Come on, take him out. Okay, good. Charge the rear of the Lanvan militia. Let's get him over here, actually, to hit the... Uh, Swiss Mountain Jaeger. These guys break the break the militia so we can push that wing up massively. Run my cavalry around. You guys smash straight into the Jaeger because they're going to do some picking away my light infantry. Get both my hearts just to engage this militia with round shots. Smash the fusilier unit in the rear. Come on, everyone after that unit of Swiss pikes. And these guys pretty much open fire on uh, whomever you like. Although I could really have kept these guys firing, although it looks like they've bugged out anyway. Just about within quick line for one of the units. You may as well run this way, I think, and instead smash into the militia. Get the unit of Swiss line. Halt my light infantry. More oh, Swiss pike then. Go to kill them. Let's get our actual infantry up. Push up to engage the militia to then give our cavalry and our general a bit of a free reign. Attacking, chasing down the Swiss pike unit. Where's my jet? There he is. Just bring him right up the flank. Kill that one last guardsman and chase down that Grandier guard unit. Superior line infantry. Not so superior with a cavalryman charging you in the backside. 
There we go. Um, militia, fusiliers, grenadier guards, chase them down. Shouldn't be long to the first regiment of militia routes. Send our general straight ahead to chase down the routing units. Let's turn off all the fire at will units. Damn right, continue. So you charge down the first unit of militia. You to go after the grenadier guards, you to go after the fusiliers. This guy attack the militia. Ah, damn, the fusiliers are going to escape. Not without some casualties. There we go, let's go knock out this militia. So that yeah, that went a bit squiffy towards the end. Charging the guns certainly wasn't ideal. Um, but it's not a problem that affects our overall strategy. And that's exactly why you recruit enough all to do this kind of strategy to advance on a broad front because that's the garrison gone and those forces back there are pretty weak so in this army oh I have no, no I don't really have any money for replenishment and all these guys have run out of movement points although you could notionally push up and hit Gdansk but that's not really your strategy what I want you to do is push up And you push up here. Obviously got this guy up here who's recruiting more men and great guns to go hit Stockholm. Although to be honest I would like some great guns in general to push up into the into the centre. I probably can't build them without the top tier artillery building. So I'm really curious actually where the hell are they getting those great guns from? Not all the way back here surely. Right, Comey. Religious unrest is going down a lot because you're converting about 2% at a time. You're okay. Kazan. Religious unrest is gone, so even though I've got dregs here, I might just move them on. Because he's quite a good priest. Chikask, he's got a... You've got a... Uh... Oh, there's an agent down here as well. In Tbilisi, who got recruited that I missed. Okay, let's put you into Vienna. Then let's make sure I've not got... I mean, you're okay. Although I'm probably going to build a madrasa here. To keep you converting steadily. Corland is no longer being taxed, and now you will be. Good stuff. We've got some tech on the way, but it's going to be a few turns before we get some major, major uh, philosophical tech. This guy down here in Cairo is recruiting, so then this army will be ready eventually to uh, hit Malta and capture it for actually. Well, well, yeah, I probably, I probably will hit Malta, or I might hit v uh, Venice first. Because these guys need to be ready to jump in and kill Dagestan. Knights St. John, Savoy, Italian States, Württemberg, Mysore. Does Mysore even exist? It does. Hmm. It might get us involved in a limited war that allows us to actually uh, in invade India easier, more easily than we otherwise would have. But, right now, I think... Everything's going to plan. So let's hit end turn. Oh, bit choppy there for my agents. 
Those men are being recruited to go to Blissey, I would imagine. Hey, they're attacking us. Uh, you're depleted. Yeah, you're depleted. No. Pull back. Got one army pushing through the gaps. So the Warsaw garrison will leave the garrison and go hit them to push them back. Yes, Prussia. Your rebellion will not help you. You may have the support of the people, but we have the support of the wealthy. I would like to probably attack a lander force in northern Germany, but the thing is, I think they might be too easily uh, isolated and destroyed. Compared to how I could use them on the eastern front. But, yeah, so this is part 55, and so as I, as I announced previously, every, I want to start a new, well, I'm starting a new trend. If I'm doing world dominations, which all of the campaigns are, if I, <laughs> as well as I can, um, every fifth episode is going, so it's to help make more progress. <laughs> more progress than would otherwise be made. And especially if they're going to be taken up by things like Prussia doing all this sort of nonsense. Well, it does look like they may. This might be a fleet coming in to attack our Mediterranean hut bases. But the irony is, I think, they're much stronger in the south than we're much stronger in the north. So that might work against them in the long term. Because we're pushing on to Gdansk towards Breslau. And that's really getting, getting into their heartland now. Yep, so they've re-garrisoned the city with what's left over. Uh, they're going... And they've attacked us with... Okay, no. You guys pull back. Do I want to intercept? Probably, actually. Because that will draw in that Prussian stack. And then... I don't think it's the other two units, because both these Prussian units are only one man strong, so it's not that unit there. But I think I'm going to do it. Let's do it. But that last army, they've taken a bit of a pummeling. I'd like to get them replenished prior to such an attack, and this might be a good opportunity to uh, do some damage. Gdansk. Especially as this is a lovely defensive battle. So I won't do what I did last time and leave my guns exposed. Although we do have lots of Nizam in this army. So you're deployed. I mean, that wall's not great. But then again, I don't like garrisoning walls. Um, I do find they are a bit... tricky. I find walls... well walls you don't generally get the same bonus as you do from firing fire by rank you just kind of hunker down behind it let's drop the mortars behind the guns here so they can if anyone starts to rush the guns they'll get a hand mortar volley now this flank you knew. Put some semi janissaries in the centre. Actually, put the sipahi on the right, on the left. Sorry, the Delhi horsemen on the right. Cause it's a bit more congested over here. Oh no, I do have multiple units of cavalry. General in the centre. Howitzers. Lots of howitzers. All firing quick line, fire at will. Although that's probably not going to hit the things I want to hit. The gunners can engage the Asakers no problem. Everyone else, wow, that's an excellent quick climb hit. Thirty dragoons, ten lancers. Uh, 
can you attempt to try and get your stakes out because there's lots of cavalry coming in so these giant three grenadiers preemptively get into square men pull back you can fire it at will with one volley pull back general's been killed let them take there we go okay now you can fire at will it's a dragoon unit that's come up forward Those are our... Right. I was concerned about the mortars. I, was thought, I thought those sound like... Those sound like damn... Like uh, actual mortars mortars, you know? So who's out here? Artillery, Hussars. You guys march on. Knock out that unit of guns and the Hussars. You guys are able to hold this flank yourselves. You guys switch to canister. Start to engage. The infantry getting close. Get my line infantry up here as well. Deadly horsemen hit the artillery. The Sipahi, your job is to, well, charge the light horse. Good, their cavalry's changing targets to come and chase after us. More, oh, there we go. Our mortars are in range to provide support. There's my Semat Janissaries, let's move them over here because it looks like they might be trying to make a push of it. Come on you guys. There's a handful of you that need to fire. Mortars away. Yep, this is it. Get the Semat Janissaries involved. Okay, over here. Now, you guys both actually target the Hussars. Yeah, gunners have gone. Bring general around. Oh, you routed. You did who do you were doing pretty well. So you keep engaging the Swiss grenadiers. Prevent them from getting in. Yeah, here comes our reinforcing general. Let's feed more men into the melee. Feed my general in. Okay, so, daddy horsemen. Knock out that gunner, Sipahi. Nail it towards this big block of troops. And that Nizamu unit out onto the flank. This unit, Sipahi, it's not doing anything. You get involved. Artillery start to engage. Supporting Prussian troops. These grenadiers have come back. So you guys nail it in. You keep engaging the Swiss Grenadiers. Janissaries and the Nizam unit are routed, that's okay. 
smash into the Swiss guard. The general's died, but that's okay. to them. Knock out that heavy horse guard artillery. Bring the Daddy Horseman back. The other generals died. Can you guys engage that unit of Swiss Grenadiers? I mean, I'm sure I've got you guys all engaging these dudes. Okay, Daddy Horseman, charge in. You guys stop your firing. General's unit, which is no longer a general's unit. Damn right, we're going to continue. You chase down the Lanvin militia. Artillery, 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 artillery. Stop what you're doing. And let's mow down these leftovers. Hit them, you hit them. So apparently some there is someone left. It's probably a hidden it's probably a gun team or something like that hidden. I mean they've not come back, have they? No, good. No, you keep after the Sakers, you hit the 6th Regiment there, you hit the 13th. Just make sure no one's being engaged by person or person... Oh no, sorry, we continued, didn't we? That's why the battle's not over. I'm a dum-dum. Come on. Okay, now it's just these guys all the way over here. Yeah, they've made it. <laughs> so we took a hammer in there, but they've taken so over hammering. Uh, we can afford to more easily replace our losses, even though oh no, we did. They lost more than us, thanks to the chase at the end. Yeah, but look at that. <laughs> I hope they don't consider that a win. <laughs> They've immediately stuffed it back full of troops again. But then again, we never... One thing you can't accuse the Prussians of is that they are... <laughs> See, I never know when to... Uh, ah, Sweden's turn. Nope. Don't worry, Sweden. Once we've dealt with Prussia, obviously you're the next step because we're just going to immediately vomit a load of armies northward and hit your cities. <clears throat> Probably all in one turn. But let's just keep... Oh, just a second, everyone. Sorry about that. Just had to uh, have a little cough.
Don't worry, Denmark. You're done. Or you will be. You will be. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Good. Okay, lots of lots of agent stuff has happened. Steam powered factory, gunnery school in Cairo. There we go. Get the ordnance board, upgrade you to water powered cloth mill. Give Jerusalem another tranche of upgrades. Top tier upgrades. You water powered cloth mill in Lithuania. Let's upgrade you to a gunnery school. Upgrade you to a steam powered factory. Got some commercial basins. You could probably be upgraded to a global trading company, but that's not going to be as much as I want to do. So for pick up a new general. Your army's pretty naked. As is yours. The garrison's not much better. Yeah, you can't make it. Oh, I'm going to take you because you're already damaged. You go here and then attack Adrian Uhlenberg. Or Uhlenberg. Push them away. Pick up this police estate upgrade. Let's upgrade you to a madrasa. Okay, let's see if we can have a look at where the hell these bombard cannons have come from. Have they come from Moscow? No, they haven't. We'll have to wait to see where they've come from. But then probably close to the front we can start to work on some more more armies. Actually, let's get you, you get two light infantry, then get Nizam. Good stuff. You don't have a. You're about to have a madrasa. Okay, right now nobody's in an excellent position. Let's hop over to the Americas, the burgeoning Ottoman Republic. Over and over, not the Ottoman Republic. That's treason. Uh, the Ottoman. Empire across the seas. So we could also take Antigua and Curaçao as formerly pirate territories. Or Newfoundland, but I think I might actually stay here and wait for the uh, reconstruction to be complete. How goes the army recruiting down here? Yeah, you need another unit of Cairo. Royal Cairo Elite Guards then you are ready to probably hit Malta. And then let's add a third rate for the pot. Ah, yes, you also need building up. You want to send this guy to go hit Sarajevo and be ready. And so if I can get an army to hit Sarajevo, an army to hit Alf Sunday, and I've got two armies down here in Bosnia able to immediately, not rush up, but hit Zagreb and support, provide pressure down here. They may raid Krakow, but that's okay. You can move back up. I just need a bit of time, a bit of time to get some of my men, uh, get my armies up to scratch, because right now they've been Attack twice on the trot. Two, ter two research or two new technologies being developed. So let's let that. Just oh, it's my agents. Right, okay. <laughs> so I'm thinking, oh no, don't say it's all broken. But I guess it really doesn't like. It really, really doesn't like what uh, what's been going on. Ooh. 
potential river battle shenanigans. Well, I'm at full strength. Why the hell not? <laughs> Some of them might come from behind, uh, but in this instance. If they do come from behind, I'm a bit screwed. And then come back. Sometimes that ends up being the uh, best decision. Okay. Okay, well, based on our previous experience, let's get both of the quick climbing howitzers over here, on the, focusing on the crossing. We will bring one gun team along to blast it with canister shot, but then the other two gun teams can sit here focusing on whatever targets are going to cross over in general. Let's just put a Nizam, Janissary and a Falayin over here on this bridge. The bulk of the men are going to be on this bridge. You can get two bashies. Cavalry and camels are going to loiter till it becomes clear what's going on. Good stuff. So yeah, the guns, you can just engage who you like. I do know that there are cavalry at the crossing. But I just want to set these guys up first. Accuracy air guards. Howitzers fire quick climb and engage the men crossing the river. You guys get out of square because now there's no point. They've charged and picked their target. We've got our bashies in to provide so you guys stop before you get too close. Right, okay, they're dropping quick climb on us. So where's their howitzers? Foot artillery. They're not firing. And you guys are right at the back. Nope. It's nice to do that. One unit to keep bombarding the uh, center, another army to keep dropping. Okay, I think the problem is you guys are actually running into the... Not running into the square like I would like you to. Gunner's actually got in range. That's right, gunners. Just don't get involved. Just hammer them with... Just hammer them with uh, rifle fire. Musket fire. You have a lot of men coming in over the coming in over the river. 
Okay, these artillery pieces focus on that unit of mounted troop artillery, I would suppose. God, damn, there's nine cuirassiers left, and they're still putting on a show. One of you has to start engaging the men coming in to reinforce. Why are you wavering? So they're going to make a push of it. And these guys have been smashed into by the general bodyguard, so keep engaging there. Counter attack, the foot guards. to attack the Fusiliers. I think the big problem is how... The big problem is that I can't seem to get my... Uh, I haven't had a chance to get my men in a position to just start firing off their uh, volleys. There's usually always been... There's always something up, seemingly. Like you, you're routing, and you've only lost 50 guys. Don't quite know what you're uh, up to. You guys embark on hit troop. You guys attack them. Okay, you guys. Get out of square formation and begin opening fire. Cavalry, to be honest, needs to charge in. I also would rather it didn't. They kind of have to. But I need to do it. I need to send them in to help clear out the centre at least a bit. Thanks to you guys routing, the general's bodyguard got onto my guns. There we go, now these other men can ostensibly engage. Ostensibly engage uh, other units. Bashi Bazooks hit the Hussars. Send the cavalry in. Some great quick line shots there. Send my camels in to go hit the hussars. So they're going to be very unhappy with the in introduction of those camels. Knock out the general's bodyguard. The morale on these guys is pretty impressive. Like, there's three guys left, and it's taken them to take that many casualties before they decided, ah, you know what? Okay, good. Finally. Now for the first time. Oh great quick climb hit. You guys should be doing okay against that amount of troop artillery. Killed four of them. We do have demi cannons in the rear. You guys push up. Because now at least we can get our fire by rank going now these guys that are pushing in across the river 
are actually facing... Oh no, Lantern Guards! Let's see if you can drop some Quicklam on the Lantern Guards. You engage those Swiss Mountain Jaeger. So the thing is, is, is even if you're not targeting a unit, uh, musket fire still does carry on. Like, so even though we're not targeting the Lancer Guards, the, the hope is that... The hope is that... Even if you miss, and you're firing by rank... Like, if you target cavalry, you fire... Um, you fire. It's almost like fire at will, right? But if you target infantry, you get fired by rank. But as long as they're targeting infantry and there's cavalry in the way, they will keep firing by rank. And then that means the cavalry will be experiencing bad times. So they will get some cover, I would think, from the trees. It's not helped them. Come on, field artillery, you need to beat this troop. Make sure they're shattered. They are. Good. Okay, one howitzer can work on quick climbing those. Can work on quick climbing that cavalry unit. Because I'd like to knock them out, but at the same time, I can't afford to not hit these guys. Because look at that. Even that was a miss. Yeah. Their artillery is still doing some good work. It's important, you guys. Reload. There you go. Make ready. And fire. Still lost a load of horses from that. There you go, hit the Prussian Fusilier unit that's coming in. Still coming in, foot guards. I think you guys need to do better at knocking out one damn gun team. Yes! They heard me! Slowed them down. There we go, some of them have worked out. Hey! There's still quite a lot of us! It's got line infantry guards. Good God, Fly Battalion Musketeer of Major Quintus, Quintus Elysius. Lanvin Militia. Oh, more cavalry. They've eaten another volley. So sometimes it's just not worth firing, it's not worth forming a square sometimes. Rivers run red with Prussian blood. Okay, one of you start to hit the Jaeger, the other one of you start to drop quicklime onto the 7th Regiment. So they've lost all their artillery teams, it's now just a crewman job. In which case, quicklime should be fairly useful. Still coming in. Okay, let's try and hit the Jaeger, aren't you? Even though they're hidden, doesn't matter to the quick line. Oh, this evening, my men might not be as competent. 
uh, one for one, there's still a bucket load of them. Good, the 7th Regiment Mountain Artillery is finally shaken. Doing okay from an ammunition perspective. I suppose you better still focus on them. Good. Those gunners are routed so you can set to attack artillery to lob shells over onto the demi cannons. Okay, one of you needs to hit this Mountain Jaeger unit because we can't actually engage from where we are now. Excellent hit onto the lifeguards. Keep you guys reloading. Well, one of you's bugged out, sadly. In comes cavalry. The mounted trooper actually, they've come back. If you guys can fire, you would hit a big blob of men. You guys still might just retarget you. Because that would be a serious, serious amount of kills. Boom. Shell comes up, shell comes down. Well, that's not, not quite what you would have hoped. Counter charge with my bashies to tear them off. There, turn them off the saddles. Well, there we go, they're routing through my bashies. Let's make sure we kill as many of them as we can. Where's my general? No, you stay here actually. You guys chase them down just in case they decide to come back. But we're getting to the point where this is the last of their. Uh, the last of their men. So let's just march these guys over. Pushed back. Drop an artillery in. We've got a good kill on one of their gun teams. Ooh, excellent quick climb shot there. It's probably going to cause them to rout. Yeah. You can't handle much more than that. Much more of that. Both focus on the 22nd, the last unit, the last main unit to cross the river. You guys have no purpose. Okay, they've had a, they've had a, uh, they've been a fallback, so then I can insert this unit of Issa really into the back into the line. Counter-offensive is going to be, you know, I was going to say it was going to be Sally across the river, but it's a lot of horse grenadier guards. Yeah, there you go, the 22nd. So then my 24 pounders. Yeah, out of range. See, look at that. Charge them. I 
I think our best effort is to do our own river crossing. Oh, let's make sure we kill this militia unit first in case that might spur them on with a couple of good quick climb hits. I was wondering if that would entice them to actually try and uh, cross the river. But it doesn't look like it, which means that we must. So let's pick. Let's pick our battle line with our most <laughs> equipped men. Bring our cavalry over as well. Let's bring over our melee infantry. I can see there's a hidden scout unit because I can hear them. the shells going ping, ping, ping. Ooh, good hit. So let's charge our cavalry across to clear out. There they are. Swiss Mountain Jaegers. Kill them all. Okay, cavalry's coming now. So you guys all need to run. Artillery switch to quick line. A round shot at least to hit those dragoons. With our camels we're pretty good. Let's bring our other charge one unit cavalry in and let's pincer with the others. Let's stop our howitzer firing. Nope, tag them, camels. Are you part of our gun line? You are. Okay, let's push the gun line up to about there instead. There we go. Surround and engulf the Dragoons. Too bad they routed. There we go. All the big cavalry's gone. Artillery's routed. The 6th Regiment is all that's left. But let's just call it there, because we're not going to get that many of them before they rout. And that is quite a little. Just a bunch of men, but they lost more. 5,000 men. Dead. Routed. Routed. Oh, God, no. Can we do, can we do it again? Probably not. Not with that many men. No. Okay, now I can do that. Jesus Christ, look at that. Can't even auto-resolve a battle against one cavalry unit anymore. <laughs> 90 dudes, and they're still going, Ah, that cost you a thousand Ottomans. And you go, what did we do? Did we advance backwards? Well, just goes to show I can't auto resolve. <laughs> can't auto resolve anything. Not anymore. It was a shame we brought in that reinforcing army because they always do damage to the reinforcing army as well, and I hate that. But let's see how the Prussians move on. I suspect in the half hour parts, I will get rid of this crap. Because it will mean pretty much we'll get one battle and one in turn and that's it. These hour specials are a bit more forgiving. 
as it stands, they're just being... More fresh troops from Berlin. Don't worry, son. Gdansk. Push through towards Breslau. And they are together. They might be like a fairly decent sized army, but individually. I, I may as well continue with this. Like the game has crashed during an end turn. I can only see this because I've got all my spies in there. If I couldn't see it, it would just because you'd still see things like the sea move and flags end their turn. And now you can see it's because we're, sh we're seeing every indi- <clears throat> But fear not, we will push up from the west. Fairly weakly, weakly protected. Compared to the forces down south near Aust the Austrian capital, there's, you know, style. <laughs> yeah, I think for now I need now I need to start cutting these out. And to be honest, I will cut them out the next time I can move. Or the next time while they're moving, I can cut the recording. So, yeah, see you in a second, everyone. There we go, and we finally made it out of the Prussian N10. As the Mughal spies are beginning to work their way over to our schools. Don't worry, Mughals. We'll get to you. But when we do, we'll be attacking them in two fronts. We'll be pushing in against... Pushing uh, through India to attack them. And we'll also be obviously attacking the Americas. Which should be quite interesting once we control Europe. Because you see a lot more independent nations. Right. So... All of these are see all of these guys have taken a pounding because that's one Are unit of pikemen. Good, we've got the madrasa up, which means that this imam you push on to Breslau as our next target. You push on to not Berlin, because you've already got eyes on at Berlin. Probably over to Munich. Don't have eyes on Munich. Become a problem with all these flags. I think it's because they don't really know. That's why they're running around like a bunch of headless chickens. Okay, there we go. Sort of tried to... F what we want to do is take... Okay, you guys unfortunately need to do... some rebalancing. Combine troops to build up our strength. Any units that aren't that are under strength, or I mean, they're at least significant. Not sig well, they are significantly under strength. You come out to there to be replaced with better units so like this this army here is gonna to have to give up its sipahi at least temporarily and then what else do you need artillery artillery and infantry really okay you take them and and you I'm not quite sure why you are depleted upgrade you to a trade port okay you're gonna move up here so what else do we want? Two units of 
Yeah, two more units of infantry really is what we need. So let's take them out of this force here because you've got. Actually, let's take these two Nizam. Hit Gdansk. You are now short some of those units. And probably need two Sipahi. Two Sipahi, two Sipahi and a unit of line, I would guess. So let's get that. Two of you and a Nizam unit. Good. Upgrade the cloth mill, you may as well upgrade the pleasure gardens, you also become trade port. So what I'll probably do when I attack Sweden is I'll dump a fleet here to block these armies from being able to actually reinforce and then this army this army will drive west. It's probably going to be my plan. And let's take you, upgrade you to a craft workshop, upgrade Sevastopol, upgrade you. Just keep rolling on with the industry upgrades. Uh, how's your infrastructure doing? Could be better. Bring us not a naval board. Tech advances, we'll get to you in a moment. Ah, the Dutch shot one of my men. Okay, Tilsit in Prussia, you've been upgraded. Uh, down here into the Americas, this can be a bit of a money pit, but damn, it becomes financially very worthwhile. Uh, let's hop back over to Europe, upgrade you, may as well. Polish garrison no longer needs to garrison. You don't really have a function, so you can sit in the garrison, maybe. Um, you. Okay. So you guys act as a blocker. You guys put Breslau under siege because that might draw in quite a lot of nice supporting armies, really. And look at see, look at that frame rate drop. Yeah, lots of these smaller forces are getting drawn into that. That's pretty good, actually. Fetid, you can stay where you are. You. Yeah. You can expand your recruitment somewhat. Because these guys may attempt to run around and raid here, but at least you're within range to make that not quite as easy. You probably push over here to stop them from going this way. Although it's not going to really matter, because we're going to fight this battle here at Gdansk, and then we're going to fight this battle here at Breslau. And that should chop quite a big hole in uh, in their forces here. And then... Uh, Kiev, do you not have a madrasa? Apparently not. Uh, so you kind of have to stay there for now. Okay, the Semat Janissaries, you can move up now. They'll soon get used to us. Foreign occupation is going to keep going down. So you're here. Yeah, this goes here to act as a bit of a support for them if anything happens. And to be honest, you guys could... Can you leave Prussia? You can. You guys could also move up to get ready to help defend. Resistance to foreign occupation is dropping rapidly. Ridge unrest should also be going down. Check our techs. Konya. Konya is a traditional university. 
take a crack at mass production and I don't see why it shouldn't. Coseri Traditional University. Um, yeah, you may as well go for machined rifling, I guess. It's the quickest one to go for. We don't, we're not really bothered about shrapnel shot, especially if it, as it increases upkeep. Okay, I think it's the best way to do it. Some more ships being recruited in the Baltic. Um, but this army is going to hit the Prussians at Gdansk, and looking at the timer, we are definitely over. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the siege of or the assault of Gdansk. Cheers, everyone.